And now I'd like to introduce to you Kevin Cheng, and he's going to share his story of salvation with you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kevin Chang. I'm 11 years old and in grade six. Before becoming a believer, I grew up in a non-religious family. My home life was quite plain. We didn't celebrate any holiday. We didn't really celebrate anything on Easter day and didn't go to church for Christmas Eve or even attend any Buddhist temples during Chinese New Year. Sometimes it was kind of sad. When I had troubles at school or at home, I would just rely on luck, which was more like winning a lottery ticket a one in a million chance that a miracle will happen. But right now, with God on my side, miracles seem to happen in my life more frequently. I know God is working in my everyday life and helps me in school and to get better when I'm sick. God is someone I know I can rely on and trust. The time when I really came to Christ was the summer of this year. I was attending a one-week camp called Ontario Pioneer Camp located in Muskoka. At the end of the camp, we had a two-hour session talking about Jesus who he is, what he did, and what impact he had on people. We ended with a 30-minute time of prayer, and I was sitting on the balcony with my eyes closed and my heart fully opened. Guess what? I can sense, I can sense God was speak, speaking directly to me as the wind blew. I suddenly realized that God was real. How amazing and wonderful the feeling was. In Proverbs 3, chapter, verse 5 to, 5 to 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. It is just so true. After the prayer time, I decided to become a follower of Jesus and commit to him for the rest of my life, even though there will be tough times. I also became a believer in Jesus because I really wanted to go to heaven. I had and have eternal life there. Who would ever want to have life forever in hell, where there is no love, no mercy, and no peace. In contrast, Revelation chapter 21 verse 4 says of heaven, God will wipe away every tear from their eye, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, no crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. What a picture and awesome place. As a believer, I am also eager to get baptized. The first reason is because it is what God wants my next step to be, since it's all, it's since it's His command to make to all disciples. Matthew chapter twenty-eight, verse nineteen and twenty says, "Go and make all the go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. And surely I am all, I am with you always to the very end of age." The second reason is because I wanted to have a brand new life, the life of not being a, s a slave to sin, a life walking with Jesus all the time. All this is free. It's a gift from God for believers through faith in Jesus, as Jesus paid the full fr price for us to remove all our sins. He died on the cross for us, even though he was sinless and didn't have to. In Romans chapter 4, verse 4, I mean, verse chapter 6, verse 4, we see a description of how baptism is a picture of our union with Jesus in his death and resurrection. It says, we were therefore buried with him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we may too live a new life. In, conclu in conclusion, I hope you learned a lot about me and my story of coming to Jesus. Thank you for listening. <laughs> This way, this way, this way. Kevin, because of your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your own Lord and Savior, it is my joy and honor to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs>